In this skeletal practical review, we'll look at the thoracic cage. Now the thoracic cage, also known as the rib cage, consists of 12 pairs of ribs. Ribs 1 through 7 are going to be called true ribs, and they have individual costal cartilage that um, is going to attach directly to the sternum. Now ribs 8 through 12 are false ribs, with 8 through 10 having costal cartilage, which attach to each other, and then the cartilage of the seventh uh, pair of the ribs. Now 11 and 12 don't attach at all to the sternum, so we call those floating ribs. Now taking a look at a rib, we have the head of the rib, the neck, the body is this whole main area here. Then we have on the head of the rib, the superior, or right here, the superior and inferior facets. Here we have the tubercle of the rib which is going to also have articular facets. And then underneath the rib, which is highlighted in blue here, we see what's called a costal groove. And again, remember in the costal groove, you're going to find a neurovascular bundle. And the sternum is divided up into three parts. We have the manubrium, we have the body, also called the gladiolus, and we have the xiphoid process. Other parts are the clavicular notch and also the jugular notch also called the suprasternal notch. And another important landmark is where the two come together, and this is the sternal angle.